Good medical morning. This is Watson, and today we're going to talk about staph. It lives in warm, moist areas, but staph can quickly become a staph infection once it becomes exposed. Let's hear from Dr. Michelle Hoffman about staph infections. Staph actually likes to live on the skin and in the front of the nose, and often lives there perfectly happy, not causing any infection. It's when you get a break in the skin that you end up getting infection. Now let's look at some examples of staph infected skin. You will notice the red coloring as a telltale sign. Warmth and fever are also indications of a staph infection. When you leave a staph infection untreated, it can progress to causing systemic disease, including infection in the blood. It can also cause meningitis. It can also cause pneumonia. Um, and so it is a potentially serious infection. Staph is usually spread through contact. For babies, make sure your child isn't sitting for too long in a dirty diaper. For you papaholics out there, make sure you're using soap and water and only popping pimples when you're wearing a fresh set of gloves. The most common symptoms of staph include pimple and boil-like lesions. If you see a boil or abscess with pus, please go see a doctor. Let the doctor prescribe an appropriate antibiotic for that condition. Generally speaking, don't try to pop a staph infection. You only risk spreading the infection onto other people, other areas of the skin, or pushing the infection into the bloodstream. Of course, it's best to consult a medical doctor before you do anything. And don't take medical advice from our videos or the channel. Let's take a look at a few more images and videos. Then I'll show you my favorite pimple popping tools.